uh, welcome to my channel my channel is algorithms helper that will make educational video about algorithms and now I will introduce with you one of the most basic algorithm which is prefixum uh, so what is prefixum for example you have an array contain uh, five elements okay and uh, you have Q you have Q queries Q queries that you need to calculate the sum from L to R so how can you do it fast uh, the naive solution that you iterate over L, L plus 1, uh, L plus 2, uh, to R. And it will cost you the time complexity of O and This is not optimal. This is not optimal. And now I will introduce with you uh, a more a more efficient algorithm which is prefixum okay uh, let f i is the sum the sum of uh, the element from the beginning of the array of the array to uh, I for example F1 is uh, A1 is equal to 2 f2 is a1 plus uh, a2 is 2 plus 1 and is equal to 3 f3 is a1 plus a2 plus a3 and is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 3 and equal to 6 so how can this help us uh, to solve this problem so to to calculate uh, to calculate from L to R we just need to We just need to use this formula. Is equal is equal to f r minus f l minus one. Why why this formula is right? For for uh, f r is equal to a one plus a two plus a three plus to a r right, and this minus a1 uh, plus uh, a2 plus to uh, a l minus 1 and uh, this will become we we will make uh, we will clear this one this one this one this one this one until our final result is a l plus a l plus one to a r and this is our answer so we need to use this formula to calculate the 
calculate the answer for this query fast and this will cause us a time complexity of 01 because we can calculate this in one operation right uh, rather than the naive solution that will cost you O N. Okay, yeah, uh, it is. Okay, it's done with this algorithms. So now we will move on to we will move to uh, some problems that related to this. produce with you three problems that I have selected for you guys to practice about prefixum. The first problem is separate sums two. Uh, we are given an array of n integers and our task is to count the number of subarrays having some x. Uh, for example, they gave us n is equal to 5 and x is 7. Uh, so we need to count the subarrays that have sum is equal to 7. Uh, in this array, we can see clearly say that they have two subarray have sum equal to 7 is this subarray and this subarray. So our output is 2. And how to solve this one? Uh, this problem is pretty simple. We, we know that the formula to calculate the sum from L to R is FR minus FL minus 1 and uh, this might be equal to X we need, just need to rewrite it so FL minus 1 is equal to X minus Uh, is equal to f r minus x so for we will need we will fall from uh, l from uh, we will iterate over i from uh, 1 to n and we will count the number of f l minus 1 that equals to f i minus x and i will recommend you use uh, the sdl map in uh, c++ and uh, this is my code okay so first i input the array and x uh, second i use map uh, m uh, m0 is equal to 1 y because we need to calculate uh, f0 and f0 is 0 because uh, like fr minus f0 is equal to from a1 uh, plus a2 uh, plus uh, to ar and f0 count so we need to put it in map okay the our answer is zero. Uh, I make a var variable for our answer, and for each fi, I calculate it. I calculate it. Uh, I add the number of frequencies of fi minus x, which is this one, and I add this one, and I add this one into my app. So our final answer is this, and this is the the end of this problem. Um, move to problem two. We will move to the second problems, which is separate divisibility. We are given an array of n integers, and our task is task is to count the number of subarrays where the sum of the values is divisible by n uh, for example we're given an array with five elements and n is five so we can clearly see that this separates is satisfying the condition 
uh, this separator has the sum of 10 and 10 is divisible by 5 uh, how to solve this we all know that the sum from L to R is F R minus F L minus 1 and this must divisible by N so we can so therefore F R minus F L minus 1 is equal to 0 modulo n right so n therefore f r is equal to f l minus 1 what if we modulo n and that's done with the problem and this is my submission this is my code uh, I input the array, I check a map, I uh, add the zero at first, I uh, calculate the prefix sum, and I check for the occurrence of this value. Uh, why this value? Because as f i'm modulo n is uh, this one modulo n and uh, this one modulo n, but why I add n? after modulo n here because I afraid of the case like uh, 7 minus negative 2 is 9 and this is divisible by 3 right so therefore 7 is equal to minus 2 well, modulo 3 but 7 is equal to 1 while modulo 3 and negative 2 we need to we need the formula to switch this to 1 so my formula is negative 2 uh, modulo 3 and plus 3 uh, this modulo 3 is negative 2 if I add 3 is uh, 1 and 1 modulo 3 and equal to 1 so we satisfy this formula uh, yeah. and we got this solution and you see and uh, after we count that we just need to output the answer Final problems. Uh, I choose good subarrays. Uh, in this problem, we are given an array and elements consisting of integers from 0 to 9, and we need to calculate the subarray that satisfy the sum of that subarray is equal to the length of that subarray. For example, uh, I is 1, 2, 0, so there's for three good separates, uh, I from uh, one one is one, and uh, this sum is one, and this length is also one. Uh, sum from two to three is three, is is two, and uh, this length is also two, and uh, sum from uh, 1 to 3 is 3 and uh, that length is also 3 so to solve this problem is pretty simple the formula to calculate the sum from L to R is F R minus F L minus 1 uh, and this need to be equal to L to r minus 1 and plus 1 um, r minus l and plus 1 this is the length and this is the sum so uh, we we need have some change here uh, so we change this to here and change this to here so we have the final is fr minus r 
And from here, minus 1 is equal to FL minus 1 minus L. Now we need to calculate the number of pairs that satisfy these uh, conditions. Right, and this is my code. Okay, let's calculate the sum, the prefix sum. Uh, and uh, at first I add negative 1 because uh, negative 1 is uh, uh, F0 minus L and L here is 1 so is negative 1 always be negative 1 and we add uh, the number of occur occurrence of number of occurrence of this to the answer and uh, we add the occurrence of this one yeah and uh, we got the answer okay and uh, that's all. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel Algorithms Helper. Uh, in here, we're aiming to provide educational videos about algorithms. If you like any video that I posted, uh, please click on the like button. Uh, this will encourage me so much. And uh, thank you very much for watching my videos.